Hey all, uh, this is part three of the uh, Wing Wing Z84 build and I um, just want to let everyone know before you get into the video that um, unfortunately we're going to have to skip the motor mounting. Um, had corrupted files on the last lot of videos that I recorded and uh, things never turned out the way I wanted to so I lost a lot of video footage. So we've skipped forward to the process of where we've got the motor already installed and it's basically the electronics time we're going to look at planning where we're going to fit a flight controller and what I'm, I'm using is a, a Furious FPV F35 unit it's a great unit um, plug and play GPS plug and play uh, air speed sensor we've got for it as well uh, pretty much everything you can get for this flight controller is plug and play it was a um, a setup that I had in my FX61 Phantom which I've decided now to pull out of that so anyone watching that series it's been a while since I've got back into that one um, I'm going to be updating that with a with a more modern flight controller as well uh, coming up but um, yeah so this this video the third series of this build video here is going to start with um, electronics so. um, I've also changed the ESC I, in the previous video I was using a 40 amp Predator ESC. Um, I've decided to go against that due to the fact of its size and its weight and I've gone to a, a, a V Good Racing uh, 20 amp. Uh, it's a much smaller, much smaller ESC and easier to mount and hide. So I've gone, gone for that as well so if you're wondering why I changed that's why I changed that one. Uh, so basically the setup that was in the FX61 um, is all purely going to be going into this Wing Wing Z84 which is all plug and play. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So basically, yeah, we've got we've got this this flight controller here, and the peripherals I've got going into it include the uh, GPS. That's also the F the F35 GPS uh, from Furious FPV. That's it there. They just all plug and play. That's why I bought this system for the um, bigger machine. I've got a uh, uh, yeah, air speed sensor as well for it. it plugs in straight away. It's the uh, same brand if Furious FPV. And ESC. You know, the ESC there is just a 20 amp. V Good. Is it V Good? V Good's the brand? Yeah, full cell. I'll be running in this uh, 20 amp. So I'm basically going to set this one up as a long range flyer. Just a basic long range fly to start with and then we'll do some upgrades and when we uh, when we get into it a bit more. Uh, the motor I got for it's an Emax uh, 2205 a 2300 kV motor. It's a fairly standard uh, brushless motor for quadcopters and planes so I thought I'd just get that one. I've got quite a few of them lying around so I thought I might even just try and use it. Okay, so one thing I noticed when I built this, um, I mean, the motor sits back a little bit from uh, from the foam here, which doesn't let you put this prop on directly, so you need a spacer and maybe a, an extension type of thing to get the prop out. So I'm thinking I might trim all this back here. Now, it's, this section here has got a bit of a curve to it as it is, so I'm thinking I might... I might just keep it straight. We'll just trim all this back here and trim back all the foam here to keep this out as keep the motor out as far as we can at the back that way the prop all clear. Saves saves getting any adapters anyway. So I think I'll cut it something somewhere like that to start with. This is something you should really do. If anyone builds this, I'd recommend uh, before you glue it all together just um, probably trim all this back out a bit because it does I've set this back as far as it can go with its with its motor mount here I never checked it before I, I glued all the other fins on and the wings so we'll just chop all this out okay so I've trimmed this all back here and up around the top so do this do this before you put it all together now I've got plenty of room now 
for the crop. I would have liked it to be a little bit further out still, to be honest, but maybe trim it back a little bit more here and there a bit, but at least it clears now. All right, so let's get onto the electrics. All right, so I've got the flow controller wired up to the ESC now. We just soldered the two wires there. A little bit of heat shriek on them. And now the plan is to have it mounted behind the spar. Okay, so what the next thing I want to do is connect it up the flight control. I've got the two servos going into uh, signal 3 and 4 and the motor or ESC going into uh, signal 1. What I want to do is connect the battery. I've got the transmitter on at the moment and I've just got it hooked up for the moment just to get everything configured to my L9R which um, it currently is hooked up to my FX61 so I'm thinking I might even it's going to be put for that plane um, this has got another R9 coming for long range I'll, I'll be replacing the L9R as well on the FX61 eventually too so at this stage I'm just going to set everything up using this so disregard that, that's the hood from the FX61 so what we'll do is plug in a battery Should get some beeps. So that's ES, ESC set up. Now the ESC is not set up. We've got okay. So everything's totally out of order here. My pitch up and down is wrong. So I've got to configure everything through iNav. And my arming switch isn't working that's because the ESC so far hasn't been calibrated so that's the next step we'll calibrate the ESC okay so we're connected up here to iNav I've just got to hit the connect button um, we've got the USB port running in to the flight controller so what I want to do is I'll just connect the battery up before I connect to uh, iNav okay so we'll connect Disregard the way that's sitting. I've just got the flight controller just sit on its side basically at the moment in the machine. We'll try and level it a bit. Okay, so we'll have to go to configure the ESC. We want to go down to the motors tabs. Where is it? Oh no, this is change outputs, I believe it is now. So let's have a look here. ESC protocol now I'm not sure with the ESC I'm using it's a V good 20 amp I'm not sure whether it's should be on standard or one shot but I'd, I think I'll just keep it on standard for this moment we'll play around with that a bit later all right so to calibrate the ESC you go into the option outputs um, tab here older versions of iNav I think it was, it was a motor tab they've changed I'm running configurator 2.4.1 this is the latest version as I'm building this so we have to check this box I understand the risk propellers are removed enable motor control we flick the master up to full so that you're showing 2000 we connect the battery and then once it's connected you're supposed to lower it down And there, it's detected the low settings there. So that's correct. We should have motor control. We'll save and reboot, and we'll give it a test. Okay, so everything seems set up. I can't, I can't check the motor really because it needs uh, GPS lock to um, to arm. But it's got servo operation. Up and down. I think I've got to just reverse that by the look. I think that's got to be reversed. But anyway, they're all working. Servos are good. The motor does run through iNav. I've just got to connect up the GPS and we'll have a look. Alright, so I've uh, mounted the the flight controller and I've just hot glued that down. It's 
where I want to put it. Just trying to organise some of these cables here at the moment just to tidy it up a little bit. Let's put the GPS on what I'm thinking I might do. The GPS mounts just in this little port here. It's a fairly long wire, so I might these wings I've mounted so they're not going to be I can't pull them off so I'm thinking I might mount the mount the GPS out as far as I can on this side and then the other side here I might use this wing here for the video transmitter that's my uh, that's my air speed air speed sensor I'm going to mount that I'm going to I'm going to shorten the, the uh, tubing but that also plugs in uh, just near the GPS. Now the uh, flight control is all being set up on iNav. Still yet to spin the motor because I haven't been able to get a proper GPS fix today. But we'll do that another time. So I'm going to look at putting the. I want to look at putting the mounting the. Air speed sensor somewhere here, so that'll look a bit like that. Maybe a bit less, so I don't want to. I know it's not going to kill it, <laughs> so we'll work that out. I'll, I'll dig that into the foam as well.